It's getting busy and busier. Get ready for more changes on busy State Road 31 to keep up with all that growth in that part of Lee County. Crews will be widening the road. Take a look from Palm Beach Boulevard to Bayshore Road, turning it from two lanes into four. NBC2's Alexia Chiropolis is live on Palm Beach Boulevard where the widening will begin. Talking with people who live nearby saying they're ready for the change. Yeah, that's right, Kelly. As we've been along State Road 31 all day long, there's just been a constant flow of cars here as well as construction vehicles. Now, residents tell us this is not what they want to see on a two lane road. Back when this was an old country road and Babcock Ranch wasn't out here and there weren't thousands of cars traveling this road every day, that probably was okay. Amanda Hawkins is very familiar with this one and a half mile section of State Road 31. I think I commute in town every day to take my daughter to school because um, I live in Babcock Ranch. She tells me she's lost track of just how many accidents she's seen, which halts traffic completely. I feel like it's one a week. Oh yeah, semi, flip overs. Sometimes you got to go different routes. You either have to go really far north or, you know, you have to go through these neighborhoods back here where people don't want a lot of cars driving through there. And those different routes triple the commute times. I, it will take me like one hour instead of 15 minutes. So safe to say residents here are calling for a change. For the safety of everyone that travels down this road and everyone that lives off of this road, they have to widen this road and it needed to happen yesterday. And the State Department of Transportation is answering those calls for help with the plan to widen this roughly one and a half mile section of 31. In the long run, it's going to be a lot better for everybody. Turning this two lane road into four lanes. They're also looking to add a drawbridge over the Caloosahatchee River. I mean, I have a son that's going to be driving in two years, and I'm glad he's not driving now because in two years, hopefully it will be a lot safer. Now the FDOT tells us they will start this $2 million project within the new year, and you can have your voices heard starting right now until 6 tonight. The FDOT wants to hear from you, and all of this information can be found on our website, nbc-2.com. I'm reporting live and local tonight from State Road 31, Alexia Teropoulos, NBC2.